I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is part two of the American Revolution Battles and Events. And I'm going to put a number two right here circled so that we know this is part two of our timeline and our story map. I'm going to take two fingers over here on the left and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way over to the right. Come back to the left. Straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect. And the date here is very important. It's 7-4-1776. Or, for those of us, it's the 4th of July, 1776. The next space, straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect, is September and October, 910, in the year 1777. So we're talking almost a full year and a half to get to that second space. Third space, straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect. November 15th, 1777. So this whole section is closer in activity, whereas this whole section is a little bit further apart. And what's interesting, I call this paperwork. Because wavy line, triangle, wavy line, triangle. In order for us to have a new country, we had to do paperwork. All right, so starting over here on the left, we're going to write Congress adopts the and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a dot and draw a spiral. Straight line, straight line, slightly curved line, spiral, straight line, connect. What did Congress adopt? They adopted the Declaration, Declaration of Independence. And that's why we celebrate the 4th of July, okay? Come down below, we're just going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line, slightly curved line out, curved line, curved line, or I should say zigzag, zigzag, zigzag to the end, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. Right over here, we're just going to put a dot and we're going to draw another baby circle, and inside we're just going to draw wavy line on the left, wavy line on the right, and put some curved lines over it. Okay, so what does this all mean? Inside our Declaration of Independence, we're going to write, We the People. And in order for everybody to know that we were declaring our independence from the King of England, or Great Britain, put an X over this. We had to put it in paper, we had to do it in, in paperwork. So I'm going to put a little rectangle over here, curve line, and put some, this is my pen quill, okay? And basically, it was Congress adopting the Declaration of Independence and telling the world that Britain is not, you're not, the boss of me. We had to put it in writing. And it took a while to do it. Okay? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth amongst all 13 colonies, compromises to get it written. 
and now I draw a wavy line down okay and it was very chaotic so I'm gonna put zigzag 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 all right second box September October 1777 ongoing from July 4th to 1776 it's not quiet there is put a dot Curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line across, curve line in. Let's do it again. Curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line across, curve line in. Straight line, curve line up, connect, straight line, curve line up, connect. Little curve line, little curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, dot, dot, curve line, straight line, dot, dot, curve line, straight line. All right. There is a series of battles of Saratoga. The Battles of Saratoga and there were a bunch of them it was important we're just gonna put zigzag 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 it was important as a turning point in the battles because all of a sudden now the French the Spanish and the Dutch become allies with um, the Americans, become allies. These three countries hated the British. They had fighting with them all along. The French flag, rectangle, one, two, straight lines. Spanish flag, rectangle, Straight line, straight line, little symbol. We'll just put a dot and a dot and a straight line. And the Dutch, baby triangle, straight line, straight line. Okay. The Battle of Saratoga was a lot of different battles, but that was a turning point once everybody realized that the colonists meant business and they were going to go, once we color those, those will be red coats. Then we do wavy line, wavy line down, and we hit another paperwork. Now on this one, Congress approves the Articles of Confederation. So this is when the 13 colonies become, becomes the 13 states. We're now a country, for sure, for sure. It's very loose because nobody wants a monarchy for a government. Put a dot, baby circle. Curve line, curve line, zigzag in between. Baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. Dot, dot, straight line, curve line, curve line. This could be George III. And because we did not want a monarchy, put that circle and that cross in between. We became the United States of America. But it's loose, okay? We can only do certain things as a country because we did not want to become dictatorships or monarchies or anything like that. Okay, and again, more paperwork. You got to do the paperwork in order to become a country. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is pretty easy because we don't want to mess up our labels or nor do we want to mess up all of the drawings we just did. So I'm just going to take a peach or an apricot and color in my Declaration of Independence. I'm going to make my inkwell over here blue. 
and I'm just going to put yellow for my feathered quill. Okay, that's all. Then I come over and I put a little bit of green on my world and I color it in with blue. And I think this is the most important part when you talk about the Declaration of Independence. It's telling everybody, you're not the boss of me. We're not going to be under any more British rule. We're our own people. So here is my yellow crown with some red dots. And it was telling the world, it was telling Britain, it was telling everybody that we were going to become our own country. Next, these are the red coats, the British troops. Now you have to remember that while everybody is doing the paperwork, there's still battles going on. That's what the battles all these battles of Saratoga are. And everybody is involved. Because you got to remember, I'm going to put some red on my zigzags. Everybody is fighting. The indigenous Native American people are involved. All of the foreigners are involved. Everybody's fighting against each other, with each other, as allies, as enemies. It's a big deal. Okay, so we'll give these guys some yellow hair. Then we come down and po probably one of the most important things, I'm going to make this part right here in the middle of Spain yellow since I have it out, is that once we got our allies, once the French and the Dutch and the Spanish understood that we were going to continue fighting, we weren't going to go away, all of a sudden they started kicking in because they did not like the British at all. Okay, so then all of a sudden we, be, we got allies, we got people willing to help us, but we still got to deal with each other. So over here I'm going to do some red and I'm going to put blue around the colonies and then I'm going to put blue around the states. And down here, this is George III. They think he went kind of crazy once he lost the colonies. But we don't know that yet because we're not there. So put some red. Give him his crown. It was a big deal for paperwork for the Confederate Articles of Confederation because that told everybody what the colonies as a country could do. But they were very loose. That's a very important word. They were very loose because they didn't want a dictatorship. They didn't want a monarchy. They wanted to keep it all clean. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my timeline story map all colored in. I call this the paperwork section. Declaration of Independence, Battles of Saratoga, Articles of Confederation. Very important and this is what made us our country. Okay, bye bye.